New jobless claims fell again last week to 351,000. That matches the four-year low reached last month. The government says applications dropped by 14,000, beating analyst estimates, the strongest three months of hiring in two years. Goldman Sachs stock fell more than 3% yesterday after a resigning executive called the company toxic and destructive in a New York Times op-ed column. Investment banker Greg Smith wrote, quote, it makes me ill how callously people talk about ripping their clients off. Over the last 12 months, I have seen five different managing directors refer to their own clients as Muppets. Goldman Sachs responded, quote, in our view, we will only be successful if our clients are successful. This fundamental truth lies at the heart of how we conduct ourselves. During the financial collapse, Goldman Goldman Sachs faced allegations it made profits off the failure of its clients. And some Berkshire Hathaway investors don't want to wait around to find out who will eventually replace CEO Warren Buffett. A group of shareholders from the AFL-CIO is proposing a vote that would require the company to disclose a written succession plan. Last month, Buffett announced the board had already chosen a successor, but Buffett says he has no plans to retire. That's your Money Watch. For more, stay with CBSMoneyWatch.com. In New York, I'm Ashley Morrison.